Hey guys, I am back in Brooklyn. It is currently Wednesday, October 9th. Just got back this morning. We took the red eye flight from Seattle Airport, SeaTac, back to New York. And I'm a little bit tired. I did take a short nap. I've got to unpack, clean up the apartment because literally at night, one of my friends is going to arrive. And then tomorrow, another friend is coming. And then Friday, my cousin is also coming to join us on a road trip. As I've said before, we are going up to New Hampshire to see fall colors. It is currently 66 degrees and very sunny and warm. Leaves are starting to change colors, lots of dead leaves on the ground. I'm very excited to go see the city fall color, but also excited to take my friends and my cousin to show them what New England fall colors look like. I have been there, I've done that trip back in 2022. We got to see a lot of amazing colors even though we were a little bit late in the season. I think this time we're probably near the end of the peak. But hopefully we're praying, hoping for no rain. That way, yeah, if there's rain, I mean, there are not gonna be a lot of leaves on the trees and it's not gonna be pretty. I'm heading to my local UPS service point to pick up a pair of shoes that a brand is sending me. I wasn't home last week, so they got delivered to that location. So I'm gonna go pick them up and then we'll pick up some oat milks to make matcha because I did pick up a small bottle of matcha powder at a Japanese grocery store when I was in Vancouver. Seattle and Vancouver trip was so fun. I was able to hang out with family, caught up with some of my friends there. Hello, can I pick up a package here, please? Yeah, can I have two clothes? I have this. Hello. Yes. When did you get that notice? I'm sorry? When did you get it? Um, last Thursday. Just picked up a pair of shoes from this brand Frankie for. They are an Australian shoe brand. They reached out and wanted to send me a pair of shoes. I have a pretty short week this week, but I just wanna have some milk in the fridge. I think we are going to do a quick grocery trip just to fill up the fridge with some essentials like eggs, milk. So yeah, let's do a quick Seattle Vancouver trip recap. It was a chill weekend just catching up with uh, some family and some friends. I was able to meet up with three of my girlfriends. Caught up just like the old times. It was really fun. We got to spend a little bit over three, four days in Seattle and then two days in Vancouver. So far Vancouver since it's my first time there. I had some goals. Uh, one number one was to see fall colors and there weren't any. I don't think the city has a lot of trees that turn colors compared to like the trees in the northeast New England. But it was still cool. We got to see some of the PNW nature parks that would require a lot of hiking. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Good morning. I am getting ready. Um, it's right now 8.30 or almost 9 now. I'm meeting up with a friend at 9.30 at this place called Cafe Flora. I'm gonna pack my computer to finish editing this week's video. I am already done with 
the newsletter but sometimes I still like to go back and review what I've written and if I want to add anything or edit out anything then I would do that um, because I'm traveling right now so I kind of have to plan some time to sit down in between so far it's been very fun and chill we landed in Seattle yesterday morning actually had some Vietnamese food down in Kent there's a huge grocery shopping mall there's a lot of Vietnamese restaurants and the rest of the day we just hung out with family staying at a family's home in Seattle and just hang out with the kids we went to the park yesterday um, tomorrow there's a birthday party here with a lot of people that I've you know known and met and so I'm very excited to catch up with everyone and I think my topic it's going to be yeah what's your Vancouver recommendations and so I think I'm gonna go off from that because we're heading to Vancouver on Sunday and we'll be there for two days, Sunday and Monday. So I'm very excited. It's my first time in Vancouver. I heard there's a lot of good Japanese food that's very affordable and hopefully we're gonna be able to get out to do a hike or something because I did pack along one light hiking outfit. Today is Friday and we're gonna meet up with my friend later, another friend later for dinner in West Seattle and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna see another friend for lunch. Okay, I feel very grateful that they make time to go see me and make it a meaningful comeback trip and it's been chill and nice so far. I will catch up with you later. Bye! this old Celine sweater inside the 44 tank top vintage Levi's 501's DMD Studios belt my Lauren Manugan flat and then J. Crew bag also J. Crew earrings we are currently at Carrier Park Guys, look at this view. Um, Seattle right now is so so gorgeous. Um, all foliage, you can basically spot it everywhere. It's so nice out, even though it's kind of chilly today. It stopped raining though. I am in Ballard. I'm gonna go to this men's clothing shop called Blue Owl Workshop. I'm gonna try to look for a flannel, a birthday gift. Let's see what else they have, but they also carry a pretty good range of Japanese denim so I'm gonna go take a look from the shop to find a really beautiful zip hoodie um, it's nice from this Japanese brand called Samurai uh, the only thing is that the price is a little bit too stiff for a zip hoodie something that you wear casually but I appreciate the craftsmanship details there, fabric is perfect I think the fit is going to be perfect as well but it's like $300 
I made it to West Seattle. Um, sun went out, so I'm happy again. Look at this. Look at this view. I'm going to meet up with my friend at that Vietnamese restaurant behind me, but I'm a little early, so I'm going to just walk around and show you the views.
Yes, I'm sure to next to it, so.
turn right onto Main Street, then turn right onto East Hastings Street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 